idea today is to build an Azure function that goes off when you call it and fetches a dad joke and then brings that dad joke back and then goes off to the pirate API and brings it back translated into pirate speak. And then what we do with that is up to you. Let's go and open up Visual Studio. Uh, so let's open a project. Now I could have created this from inside Visual Studio. Um, and we want the pirate function. So what we get to start with is just the empty, empty project. Let's, let's go and add our first function. So we should just be able to come down here and add a new Azure function. So let's go and call this pirate joke function. So you see now we've got all these different options, but today we are going to stick with a HTTP trigger. We'll see how we go. We may need to do a different one. So what we're going to do is have a look at the documentation briefly as well. So you can see we've got the pirate joke function as the name of it, but we don't actually have to keep that as the name of this particular function. Uh, what I'm going to do is change this to get joke. So it's a bit easier to do and we can change this function to that as well. So let me run. I'm also going to go and open up Postman. So what this has given us, look, it's given us the URL. So if I grab this and this takes a get or a post, let's go and see. So we're already up and running. We're already up and running. This is good. So let's pop that API. I'm going to do this as a get first. And it says it was triggered successfully. Pass a name in the query string or in the request body for a personal response. So that is coming from here. So what we can do is go and do name equals on that query string. And we can do name equals Captain Layla. Hello, Captain Layla, you see? So it's working, that's really good. We've got that, the basics work. We know our function runs and now we can start to adapt it. If we come in here, that said, pop it up here. So now we've got our new HTTP client, which is going to allow us to make some HTTP calls. And then we just can do our var response. So we just need to bring in the usings as well. So we can do that by doing this one. And then we can come and start using it. So let's try this from inside Postman and see what we get. Postman's also really good for testing APIs before you use them. We got the web page. So we definitely need some stuff in that. I'm sure Jason would be, there it is. I thought that can't be, let's try that then. There we go. So that's why we needed to set that, that we didn't want just the HTML page to come back. We wanted the joke um, to have application JSON come back. So we'll grab this and see if we can just return it straight up. So little steps. So we're gonna go and get this. And what we wanna do then from our body is pull out, um, I think we need to set the HTTP header there as well. I am gonna make that, can I make that underscore? That be acceptable? Just cause I find it easier to read. So we're gonna grab that and go, client so let's pop this on a new line and this is probably just we need a using to come in and that content type we're going to say is application json there we go so this is going to emulate what we did in postman so let's go uh, and say var joke is equal to and we're going to go response. Uh, we want content. Let's see. Dot read as async. Let's try this one. <laughs> our response dot content is going to be our JSON string. Let's grab that. Our JSON string is equal to response dot content dot read as string async. So let's try that. So now we can pass JSON string in there. 
And what we'll get out is that Siva Jason, we'll just call it for that for the moment. Oh no, we need to make it an object. So what we're gonna do, we know what this looks like because we can go in here, it's got an ID, joke, and a status. Can I can I do this? So what we're gonna do is make an object that looks like what we're getting in. So if we go solution explorer. I'm gonna add a folder just called models because it's nice practice to keep it all nice and tidy. And we're gonna add a new item and we're gonna call this a joke model. And that needs to be a class. There we go. I can paste special, paste Jason's classes. Yay! So this is a joke. So let's go and do that and we can bring that back in here. We can do that. And we can say that this is a Jason we need to bring that in. Joke um, response. Let's change that there. And we can change the name of that. So we may need to go and set something up on how the serializer reads and compares JSON and the model. So let me go and uh, rename. We'll see. That might be a problem when it comes to bind. Let's go back into here. And that's going to be a joke response. And we'll call that a joke response. OK. And we bring in our models. Okay, so we just need to await this as well because this is doing a sync when it comes back. Let me go and see, that's a string. Oh, hang on. Cannot convert from string to newtonsoft.json.json reader. Now, hmm, interesting. Let's go see. It's put in Newtonsoft, so let's get rid of that. We don't want Newtonsoft, and that's the problem. We want to bring in system.text.json. And we'll come down here and fix that one in a minute. So hopefully that will work now. We can lose, I'm gonna only do it as a get. So let's come up here and we can do that by removing the post here. So it will only accept a get. And we can remove that bit. Hello, here is a joke. And we can pass in joke response dot joke. Let's do some breakpoints then. So we've hit here and let's just F10 over that. It's saying it's okay. So we've got it all through. We've got a status code. We've got some content. Let's just F10 onto the next bit. Let's have a look at what our JSON string. That looks pretty good. There you go. So that's all coming in as we expect. So we're making the correct call. Uh, let's go and see how we set case insensitivity. So let's do that. So if we pop that in, and what we need to do is pass the options in. All right, so we know that that was working. So let's just put that there and let's run and try it again. We've hit this, let's set over. Yippee, so that was it. We could see now that that did have an effect. We needed to set that um, case insensitivity because the JSON was coming in lowercase and our model had uppercase. Let's see if we can get that. Let's get rid of some of these windows. So we're gonna do um, a post and we're gonna just give it some text to translate. So let's do a trial run inside our postman. Okay, so let's go in here and go um, body and we'll go JSON. So now we can go make a JSON object and then that's going to be uh, text and then we'll put this in here. There we go. Welcome to the stream, mateys. So good, we're getting it. Let's go and try this line. So we can try that and see what we get back. It's worth a try, isn't it, folks? All right, so what I'm gonna do actually is make this request in another, uh, in a method outside of here. So we can maybe use it with another function just to translate. It doesn't need to be the joke translator, it could just be a translator. So I'm gonna come down here and we're gonna make a private uh, we'll return a string. It might need to be a task line. Translate to pirate. Let's do that. That's what I wanted, wasn't it? Let me just go and comment that out. That's what I grabbed at. Let's grab this. Um, okay, so this one now is going to be, we definitely need to make this uh, a sync and type task returning a string. There we go. And this is going to be the API we want to call. So we want it slash pirate. There we go. So that's going to be our new URL that we're going to. I think that's going to tell it that we need JSON. So we probably don't need that now. We'll see. We'll see. And then we'll get the response back. So we'll read it just as we did um, here. 
So we have that. And the bit we need is this, the JSON string. So it's going to get the content and then we'll bring in the JSON string and then we'll get an expando object. Um, so let me go and bring that in. And I'm actually just going to take that out for the moment and make this void. And we'll just put that there. We can make this static or we can make it's async static. I think, I think we can do that. Because this whole thing is static, sometimes we, if we're going to use dependency injection or something, which we can do in functions, we wouldn't, we'd need a constructor. So none of this would be static. So what we can now do, we're just going to call our translate just here. Text to translate, and that's going to be our content. Okay, so now up here, we're going to pass in our joke response.joke. So let me just copy all of that, drop that in. We need to await it. There we go. That's the last bit. What we need, this bit here. So let's go and say HTTP content equals, and this is going to be text to translate goes in here. And then we need to bring in the system.text. And now we can pass this content into our post. And it, there we go, semicolon. We need that on the end. And there, right. Now that all looks happy. We can lose the request header there. Come here and go into this one, send. And let's step on that we're all happy with. Now this is going into our translator. Let's go and have a look. So let's grab this. So let me get rid of this private, because I only want to use it in here, strut pirate text, and we'll say that's got a prop of string called text pirate, jace pirate, that's going to be a pirate text, that's going to be text, and that is going to take in this. Oh, okay, that needs to be public. Oh, I see, it's outside, that's why, public. So let's pass in our pirate text now, but it didn't like, oh no, we just haven't stepped on enough. There we go, whoops. Yay, so now it's coming through. It were being great, so it's translated it. It has, it has, okay. Let's have a look at what the expando object is. We'll need to get into, it looks like object and then translated. So it's gonna take a little bit of fiddling to get in there. Let's stop and let's go, let's go JSON result and we go one dot value. So I see, okay, the result string, I think, is equal to that. And we should be able to get that back. And then if we go, let's get rid of that. And I'm just going to see if we can get some stuff out of this. And the s is equal to kvp dot value okay so let's step on we have something in here oh oh good we're stepping in so we've got t is success and s is the second object ah so this is good so we know that we've got translated text and translation so if i come down here and do public struct pirate translation string and that's translated prop string and that's text and then we had translation text and translated translation okay so now we've got that let's go uh, we'll have a new translation Let's say equals new pirate translation. Let's just make that ready. A translation is equal to what do we have up here? This jobby here. S dot to string. Let's go and put KP value dot to string. Let's go and put that in there instead. It's S pirate translation. There we go. So return. Good. Okay, so that bit's done. Translated dot 
translated options like we had here. We can set our options. We can pass in options there. So I'm going to do uh, just change that to key value and update that just so it's a little bit nicer. Key and value. And then down here we can come and make this catalyzed because we've told it to ignore the, the options there. So that now can be translated. Now let's go portal dot azure and have a, a look see. So we created that um, resource from here and this is what we want. Let's open up uh, the chat bot. Um, this is my Twitch bot and if we go into the Twitch client service, what we could do is create a case for pirate joke. We can have case pirate joke and we're going to do a wait get joke. So we'll, we'll do that. So private uh, async task and this one's going to be get joke var client is equal to new HTTP client. Alrighty, what we're going to do is we're going to grab that. So let's go and have a look at the chat bot. So if we drop that in, we're going to use client here. And this one is now going to go to that new API. So if we go here, it was this and we can drop that in and the name is going to be your twitch name so we can do like that we need to have a dollar sign on the front looks like it's going to be a chat command that we pass in oh, we need a break there as well um e dot command so if we pass in the eChat command, we can then come here and we can say that the name is e.display. We need to get chat message, e.chatmessage.display name. And then we'll get that um, response string back. We'll do a client. And all we need to do is pass in the response string here and this is settings dot channel we can try out this we'll see what happens so that's going to be pirate joke as a command all right let's run this so we should see the new track let's go and see let's yeah, so that's my name. There we go. So let's, uh, oh, we got a response. Mm, step over. <gasps> it worked. And it's translated. Our wedding were being so beautiful, even the cake were being in tears. Uh, so that's it. It's fixed. It's done. Together, we got it working. Yay!